Hey campers, we're at Roaring River State Park in Missouri. So, our campsite here, there's Vanna. Let me just take two steps and turn the camera around. That's our backyard. We have a crystal clear running creek right through our backyard. And I did stick my toe in it and it's freezing cold so I won't be doing any wading. <laughs> so for our first activity here at Roaring River State Park, we're going to uh, go on a hike, <laughs> of course, and uh, going up to Devil's Kitchen. Ooh, Devil's Kitchen. Um, it said it's rugged, not moderate, rugged. So I'm just assuming that we're going to be scrambling over some more rocks. So I don't know if the GoPro can get it, but all along the trail we've been walking here, there's these really cool cliffs that just kind of, looks like limestone that just kind of comes out of the uh, side of the hill there. I'm assuming we're gonna end up on top of those at some point. Okay, Vicki thinks she spotted one of the caves. We're gonna go check it out, let's go. Well, it's not a cave that you could scamper back into, but if it was inclement weather, you could hide out here for a while. And just to let you know, it's, it's a balmy 80 degrees here in southwestern Missouri, which kind of surprised us because I think this is as hot as it's been anywhere we've been. Now remember, we followed a cold front all the way to the coast, so <laughs> not hard to believe. But uh, there, is a, there is a good breeze here, but it comes and goes because we're in the trees here, so. It'll be a, it'll be a warm hike. So all of this water we've been following in this babbling brook is coming out of this cave because if you look up valley from us this is all dry so i believe this cave deserves an extra look So the cave isn't very deep. That's the end of it right there. But the water is just coming up out of the ground. And it's doing a good job of it. So, I don't know about you, but I thought that was pretty cool. Well, we've reached the top of our climb, but it's so windy, I don't even know if you can hear this. I don't even know if I'm able to use this footage. But, uh, was, was a good climb up top, up to the top up here, but, but not too bad. Nothing, nothing rugged. I think we were climbing up the non-windy side of the hill. <laughs> it's crazy over here. So Vicky brought up the point of, if I hear a big crack, 
look up. Because <laughs> as windy as it is, there's a lot of dead wood in here. I hate to get bonked on the head by a dead tree. And so now, not only do I have to look down to where I'm walking, I have to look up for falling trees. It's a lot of looking. I don't think I can handle this. More water coming out of a cave. Well, the trail wasn't rugged enough for us, so we had to come up with our own scampering over the rocks. desperately want to go down in this hole, but I don't know if I can get back out. Uh-oh, wait a minute. What's Vicky doing? Oh yeah, what about that little slot in the side over there? Who's crazier, me or her? Okay, we all know what comes next. <laughs> now the big guy's got to do it. Now can she get out of the bowels of the devil's kitchen? Dun dun dun! Challenge number two. Notice I'm over there making sure she doesn't fall. Well Missouri, you got some cool stuff. But uh, you don't know, talk about rugged. Let me take you down to Robbers Cave, or maybe in uh, in Oklahoma, or maybe uh, Colorado Bend in Texas. I'll show you rugged. Another grand building built by the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Group, back in the Depression. Roosevelt made up a thing and put them all to work. And uh, I know they paid them a wage. I don't know what the wage was. It wasn't a lot, but they had to send most of it home 
to help support their families. So, uh, but everything they needed here was all taken care of for them, all lodging, all food, everything. So, so pretty sweet deal for people who were out of work back then, young men. I mentioned this is also a fish hatchery here. So, you notice all that water where those guys were fishing? And the water coming over the dam and everything? It's all coming out of a cave. <laughs> Another one, but a huge one. That's one big spring. Not the biggest spring in Missouri. This spring pumps out about 20.4 million gallons of water daily. But the biggest spring in Missouri, which is Big Spring, I've been to it, pumps out 283 million gallons of water daily. But nonetheless, Big Spring comes out of a hole in the ground. This one comes out of a cave. That's pretty cool. Because we haven't had enough hiking for one day, we found another trail. It's called Deer Leap Trail. It's not very long. It should be easy. So Vicki has trouble going up trails like this that are all just steps. Her heart gets racing, so she has to stop and take breaks and stuff. She's fine, but just take breaks. Me going down hills, down trails like this, with all the steps. I'm not careful, I can just blow my knees out. So now we're at the top of that little waterfall that was falling down into the cave where all the water was coming out of. We're at the top of that now. We're just buttons for punishment. We get a cool overview of the whole hatchery area up here. You can see everything. It is millions of trout. And now, we go down. Well, once again, <laughs> we've been here for like three hours, three and a half hours, somewhere in there. Yeah. And uh, we've been on two hikes. We've seen two caves with water coming out of them. We've fried up some bacon and beans in the devil's kitchen. <laughs> and we've seen a river coming out of the side of a mountain. I got nothing else. I'm tired. I think I'm done for the day. I think we're gonna punch out. We're here for two nights. So uh, we'll see what happens in the morning. Well, it was a little bit of a temperature change from yesterday to today. Um, this is our second day here. And uh, it was 40 degrees when we woke up this morning which was pretty chilly. Um, we kind of went driving around. I've, I've thought about coming down here and riding my dual sport motorcycle. And I know this is a cool area, so we kind of rode around on some old gravel roads, trying to find the back forest roads and stuff. And so there really wasn't much to film and everything. So I don't know, we're gonna kind of just hang out here at the campground for a while. I think we're gonna go eat a fancy dinner tonight at the lodge. And, uh, and then we'll probably pack up tomorrow morning and head on home. Catch you guys later.